हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू नागिन नायक नरेटिव आज कुछ मतलब अलग सा इवेंट मिला उड़पी में दैट टू तो वी डिसाइडेड टू कम हियर एंड वी आर एक्चुअली एट द स्पॉट राइट नाउ ठीक है दिस इज द आदित्य आर्ट गैलरी जहाँ पे अनमास्किंग द मास्क एन एग्जीबिशन ऑफ मास्क फ्रॉम अराउंड द वर्ल्ड तीन दिन का इवेंट है आज कवर कर रहा हूँ आज डाल रहा हूँ अच्छा लगे मन करे तो आके विजिट कर लेना एम जी एम के पास ये जो होंडा शोरूम है ना होंडा शोरूम के एग्जैक्ट अपोजिट है ये आर्ट गैलरी सो ये घर में ही उन्होंने आर्ट गैलरी टाइप का बनाया हुआ है सो लेट्स गो इन साइड देखते हैं क्या सीन है आई एम काइंड ऑफ लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दिस लेट्स गो चेक इट आउट This looks nice, but it is silent, so I don't want to talk aloud. I'll take you around, and uh, that's particularly a QR code. Is ka me photo dal dunga. So if you scan this, you'll get uh, all the details. There's a two and a half minute video, as they said, uh, about all the masks here. So let's go through one by one, and uske baad me last me ye QR code bhi dal dunga, so you can uh, have a look at uh, what the video says about. Okay, let's start. Mr. Uh, Kiran Acharya with us, so it's definitely a humongous task to you know collect all these things over a period of time. So rather than me blabbering about it, uh, let's hear from the horse's mouth, sir. Thank you so much for uh, you know talking to us. Thank you, sir. First of all, uh, how long has it taken for you to collect all these artifacts, basically? This uh, collection started away back in 1999. 1999. During my first international travel. Oh, okay. to Kathmandu. Okay. So that time uh, I was sitting in a uh, watching the uh, Himalayas. Huh, huh. The thought came to my mind as an orthopedic surgeon, I get to travel because of conferences or yes. teaching assignments. That was a teaching assignment. Okay. We have a college in Pokhara. Huh. There uh, I was going on a teaching assignment. So I thought uh, if my job is taking me to places, why not add on little more extra and travel and explore the place, uh, understand the local cuisine. and also get something back home exactly to remember uh, the place yes so one of the most important places for mass is uh, nepal nepal of course so i i got brought some mass that's where and you then, started off from then i started uh, going to every other destination i started next to destination was malaysia okay i was uh, posted there for 2 uh, years on a teaching assignment hmm. Hmm. so malaysia indonesia thailand again culturally very rich yes and there also i could get gathered lot of mass and that's how the journey started and in nepal itself i made a list of 100 destinations i had to visit wow okay and this the inspiration came from a book ha ha thousand destinations before you die wow so i just chose 100 out of okay. that because life span is short <laughs> of course and then uh, it uh, 2019 hmm. i could finish my dream of 100 destinations wow. before the pandemic struck fantastic uh, so this collection was lying in boxes <laughs> lockdown gave me an opportunity this is one of the positive aspects of lockdown Absolutely. when i could gather my uh, memories and then i realized i had uh, six boxes full of masks and i said i should share this happiness and then i also went bought a book on encyclopedia hmm. of masks oh interesting and there's also a website where you can send your image of a mask <laughs> and he will tell you what it is wow so all this uh, helped me to do the research on it and uh, in 3 weeks time i could get this up interesting and uh, so I'm happy that a lot of visitors are enjoying <laughs> this and there is lot more than a mask absolutely there is a story behind everything absolutely mask. absolutely <laughs> living and trying to I do things i also have a travel journal i'll show you when we go down oh yes and that uh, that is to inspire the younger ones to uh, keep the art of 
hand writing alive. Wow. I, I, I am also uh, into uh, YouTubing or uh, uh -huh. Instagram, Facebook, but nothing like handwritten. Absolutely, absolutely. If possible with a fountain pen. Yes, yes. There's I will share my travel journal soon. Absolutely. Yeah. There was a dream of art gallery was on. And I married uh, Bharatanatyam Vidushi, my wife Pratima, hmm. her sister Kavina. Huh. She is also a Vidushi. Okay. And her their elder sister Prasanna is a Carnatic artist. Okay. So all of us wanted a roof. So it was a common uh, interest for all of you. So Aditi basically is an acronym. Uh -huh. Art, dance, imaging, theatre and interaction. Oh wow. So this place provides an option for all this. All these things. Because imaging, photography was not considered art by many Puritans yes. of art. But we consider it as an art. A lot of photography exhibitions have taken place here. <laughs> we also have a play projection, projection here. So, interaction. We can have lectures. Speciality here is we don't have a stage. Yeah. The one who is interacting is at your level. Got it. So, more interaction comes on. So, it's like a round seating arrangement where uh, everybody has it's the same... Casual uh, seating. Absolutely, absolutely. Udupi is uh, culturally rich. And uh, if you take the commercial element out of art, it is a real art. So, we are not much into promotion for sales and hmm. we want people to appreciate art, enjoy and then take home some memories of it. And I am not asking everyone to be a collector. Huh. But if you collect, have a method, yes. have a documentation and showcase it. Absolutely. Fantastic, sir. Thank you so much uh, for the insight. And I would, I would appreciate not just people who are interested in the art to come here, but also people who casually want to have a look at it to build that interest. Only when you are exposed to such things is when you realize the calling there. And a message for uh, people. During lockdown, many would have realized that without a hobby, life can be boring. True. So I am saying, don't. I am not saying do this, do that do something other than your profession profession to keep you busy keep you busy during non-professional hours and after retirement fantastic thank you so much sir thank you so much for the This thing looks interesting. Dono taraf se chahe raha hai. You see from this side or you see from this side. Faces are like this side. So this is a happy face. This is a sad face. Interesting. Smile. Kelo smile mat taila. Beautiful. Format of every travel journal. So it starts with the this is a moleskin diary, mm -hmm. personalized in uh, their Florence branch. And this is the first visit uh, this Europe map. What all I have visited? Just for my reference, I've ticked it. So my travel plan, mm -hmm. baggage tag, and what are the places I visited, and. Uh, all the brochures, I remove the relevant part and put it mm. here. And this is actually a praying card in a church. You put a wish list and post it to God. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so it goes like that. Every country has a description. And then Polaroid photo with the mm. local chap. This I found in uh, Everest base camp. Okay. A prayer flag, a piece uh -huh. of it. It's a helicopter uh, boarding pass. It's handwritten. Hmm. This is a pilot's uh, autograph. autograph. Wow. Nice. So this becomes a real travel journal. So, and whatever you think is uh, extra, you keep here. <laughs> From 1999, I took out up to 2019. Okay. Wow. Same ball skin. <laughs> Wow. At the end of the day, it has to be done. Otherwise, it will never, never be done. Never be done. True. Uh, like so there is a particular video, discipline. Video files, yes. If you edit and upload it now, correct. It, otherwise, it remains as a file. Absolutely. Yes. So, end of the day, we, when we go with the family, they retire. I sit and finish whatever the time of the day, night. 
I make my own coffee during travels. So. Uh, uh. <laughs> little madness here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but then what is life without madness? Who knows? <laughs> All right, guys. That was an interesting uh, visit. Aisha, what do you think? <laughs> this exhibition is there until uh, Sunday, which is uh, dates. Ek bar dekh lo. Uh, you can check the dates here. Yeah, 17th, 18th, and 19th of June. I'll tell you do visit and if you are uh, interested to know about any of uh, the uh, items kept there or collectibles kept there uh, uh, Dr Kiran would be more than willing to you know explain to you and you know how it was procured or what that uh, mask stands for where every mask has a story of its own so it's not just seeing how beautiful it is made but uh, what was the thought process that was gone behind it so interesting and i am very happy that you know such kind of an event is happening in udupi so don't miss that chance to you know come and visit do visit and thank you so much for uh, watching nagin the night narratives let me know how did you like the video